So we have a mixed number right here, right? Where you have a whole number and a fractional component in fraction form, right? Minus a fraction, right? So um, to get from here to here, you multiply this two times the denominator. So the whole number times the denominator, and then you add the numerator. Whole number times denominator, and you add the numerator. I'm gonna give you a second because you may wanna write that down. I'm not sure if you want to or not, but I'll repeat it one more time. Whole number times denominator plus the numerator. So two times three is six. Six plus one is seven, so now we have seven. And you just keep the denominator. That's how you do it, keep the denominator. So now we have the seven thirds minus three fifths. And we have a similar denomination, or excuse me, denominator as the last problem. Um, and so we do the same situation, right? So uh, so five, you bring it over here, three, you bring it over here, right? And you bring it to the top as well. So this five comes over here and here, and this three comes over here and here. And um, so seven times five is 35, and three times five is 15. <coughs> you have this three times three, which is nine, and this five times three, which is 15. And because we have a common denominator here, we just put 35 minus nine over 15, and 35 minus 10 is 25. Well plus one, which is nine, would be 26. So you can think of it like that if you want. So 26 over 15. Now I'm not sure if your teacher or professor would be okay with you having an improper fraction. Uh, the higher you go up in math, the more they're okay with stuff like that. Some professors want you to have it in mixed number form. Um, so let's do that. So 15 is the denominator, so it goes on the outside of the radicand. So this is the divisor, this is the dividend, and this is the quotient, right? So 15 goes into 26 how many times? So 15 times two is 30, so it can't go into 26 twice. It can only go into 26 one time, right? And so one times 15 is 15. 26 minus 15, two minus one is one, six minus five is one. And so now we have this, uh, this problem, and it's simplified, except for we need to put it in a mixed number form. So as you can see, I drew some arrows. What your quotient is, you can bring it out as a whole number onto the side. What your um, divisor is, you can bring it out as a denominator, which is, that's why it's at the bottom here. And what your remainder is, you can bring it out as a numerator, which is right here. So you can just take the side, take the top, bring it to the side, take the side, bring it to the bottom, take the bottom, bring it to the